it was the best of times it was the worst of times these are the first two lines of the first passage of tale of two cities by charles dickens he's talking about london and paris on the verge of french revolution i think it's uh, quite appropriate for the times that we are living in because we are at the beginning of the next big global revolution the it revolution well you might be thinking uh, wait a minute it hasn't that started like while ago what are we talking about well it's true that it started a while ago but if we look back 50 years from now we are at the forefront of this it revolution and also as a country we were a bit slow to get on this bandwagon but not anymore we are catching up we are catching up very fast if you have been following news um you would have seen um, last month a uh, dialogue axiata um connected to the high sp- ultra high capacity um bay of bengal submarine cable and later this year slt is planning to connect to see me we uh, southeast asia middle east western europe cable system 5 combine these two connections will provide us nearly 80 terabits per second connectivity or capacity now to give you a comparison up to now the largest uh, connection that we have to the outside world is through cme v4 which has a capacity of 4.6 terabits per second which means within this year we'll have a 20 fold increase in the capacity of the connection we have to the outside world so we are going to be overloaded with information if we use it right and it is revolutionizing every field It's from medicine to biology to financial sector to entertainment to education and it's revolutionizing the world economy the global economy and it's revolutionizing the sri lankan economy in sri lanka the it bpm sector information technology and business process management sector is on the rise on the tail, uh, turn of cent- century we have been uh, providing human resources as well as real estate for companies that were making products and providing services in foreign countries but we have been gradually moving towards being a product company being a service provider to the largest market in the world as uh, our partner mit is also doing now we are progressing so well the slascom the sri lanka association of software and services company has targeted export market of 5 billion us dollars by 2020 to give you a comparison last year's tea exports from sri lanka amounted to 1.4 billion and the textile and garment industry amounted to 4 billion us dollars so we are targeting to move beyond that and become the largest exporter of our, uh sri lanka now slascom is also a targeting 1000 startups and to create 200000 jobs by 2022 then the question comes 
can we really do that? Because we are such a small country. Do we have the human resource capacity to do that? That's where the education and the development of our youth comes in. And that brings me to the next most important revolution that is uh, caused by the RIT revolution. The revolution in the education sector. How we deliver education. How the learning happens. Now, in the education sector, um, we have for a long time known that there are deficiencies in the way that we conduct the education, provide the learning, and so on. Uh, as a society also, we know that there are major problems in our education system. Uh, a court um, often um, wrongly attributed to Albert Einstein um, nicely puts this. Um, I quote, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its life believing it is stupid. We can all relate to that because that is how our education system, the standardized education system works. Everybody is measured by one rule. IT is going to change this. IT is going to force a change in the paradigm of education. It's going to happen in multiple uh, sides. The first and most important side is the student side. They can and they will control not only what and when we learn, but also how and from whom we learn. It's already happening. I have a five-year-old son. Since he was three years old, he's been getting his basic science education uh, from Curious George, a monkey. So it's going to happen. It's going to happen whether we like it or not. Now, when we discuss about this, the invariable question I get from most people is that, are we ready to accept it? Who's we? Not the students, because they are already embracing this technology. They are already embracing this um, classroom of the, that is spread around the world. The we we are talking about are the teachers, the parents, the education system, and the society as a whole. And what are we ready to accept? Is it that that the teacher's role is going to change from information provider, from knowledge disseminator, to a more of a facilitator? Or a challenger to the student and become a mere observer of their learning process? Or are we talking about the change that the parent has to take uh, to become more active in their child's education because the learning is moving outside the standard classroom and it's going to encompass the entire world. Or are we talking about the change uh, to the society and the education system where they have to let go of the standardized one-size-fits-all rating system. Now, for me, that is not even the question. 
when we talk about are we ready to accept we are just talking about survival we are talking about surviving in that system i think the question should be how can we take advantage of it can we take advantage of this it revolution the revolution that is happening in the education sector so that we can foster innovation can we take advantage of this so that we not only we can meet the targets set by slascom but go beyond that can we take advantage of it so that we can foster innovation in other areas like bioinformatics biotechnology and cognitive science and so on and then how can we take advantage of it first we have to change the way we think we have to change our attitudes we have to change the attitudes towards education and we have to we as teachers parents the education system and the society has to be, play the role of a role model a guide a coach to the students who has access to this vast amount of information which they don't really know what to do with now it's a fine set of ideas very catchy now when i talk about this what i always get is that we can't do it we can't change the system we can't change the system because it is not within our uh, realm or possibilities which to which i disrespectfully disagree what i tell them is that we run the system we are the system if we don't change the system nobody will and as the generation that is being fortunate enough to be in the forefront of this it technological revolution it is our responsibility it is our duty to bring about that change thank you very much <clears throat>